Tasha from Designer Trapped in a Lawyer's Body. I am standing in my powder room. It's February 8th, 2016, and we completed our DIY concrete vanity overlay in August of 2014, and you guys, it's still holding up amazingly well. It looks awesome. We have not even resealed the flat surface. Um, we did tweak the area around the drain, which you can read all about on my blog. Basically, when we originally completed the project, we took the drain out, we did concrete all the way underneath it, and then set the drain into it. And what we found is that over time, even though we had sealed it really, really well, it, there was just some water that was able to get underneath the drain and it caused the concrete to darken a little bit. So we basically chiseled out the concrete around the drain, took the drain out to do that, put the drain back in so that the drain is actually sitting on the cultured marble surface and then added concrete around it. And you can tell there's a little slope that just helps the water drain even, even better. Um, and so we have resealed the surface of the sink basin after we um, did that tweak, which was about a month ago at this point. So um, you can see now when the water runs, we don't get any darkening at all. And it drains nicely. Um, that little extra slope helps it. Um, so this is working out really, really well. So if you haven't done the project yet at all, I definitely recommend doing it with the drain in place. That's the only thing I would do differently. And we still get questions about how we clean it. You guys, we use generic um, Lysol wipes from Costco. So, um, and these kind of have a scrubby side, like with a little bit of grit to it. Um, and this is the sink that we use the most often to brush our twin girls' teeth in the morning. So there's usually toothpaste kind of caked to the sides and you can give it a good scrub and it comes right off. Um, but it's, it's no different than cleaning any other surface because when you sand it and seal it, it's, it's just as smooth as the cultured marble was. So I hope that helps. We would do this project over and over and over again a million times, yes. It was a total win. Um, and also we painted the cabinetry with the same milk paint that we used on our kitchen cabinets, which you can read all about on the blog at designertrapped.com and those are holding up perfectly also. So for 20 bucks, basically we were able to totally transform this and we love how it turned out. Thanks guys, I hope this was helpful.